Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizoglu, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to bypass security restrictions of FTP by using a web-based FTP client. So if you have a website that needs to be uploaded onto the server, uh, but your, you have restrictions of the FTP client through you, the server administrator, you can use https colon forward slash forward slash www.net2ftp.com put your server details so you put the server ftp account uh, so the domain name you put your username you put your password and click i'm not a robot and then click login and then you will be able to actually see uh, your files here if you would like to delete files so in this case it's for this uh, particular tutorial I'm just going to blow these two files if you decide that you want to delete some files you can select them and then you can click delete and then click the tick box here and your files have been deleted let's go back now so you can see my directory is empty so if I go to my website and click refresh I can see 404 error so what I will need to do I need to go here select uh, upload click on the browse locate your html pages and the images now if you have a folder and then you have some images you will need to create a directory i'm going to show you this next anyway i've selected two html pages i'm just going to click here the little tick box and job done i'll click back as you can see my pages are there now so if I go back to my page if you will not be able if you still uh, if you can still see the 404 error message make sure if you have uh, for the people who have created FTP accounts make sure you put a hyphen between your name and this should work for example if I remove this index.html and remove and put space here press enter I will see 404 error so if I actually click here and put a hyphen there oh, and press the enter key, I will be able to see the web page. And then if I click about us, if I click home, as you can see, I'm flicking through from one page to another. That's how you uh, upload uh, files onto your um, FTP account. Now, if you have images on your project, on your website, you have images or uh, CSS files or, or any other files, and you have a number of different directories, directory, another word for directory is a folder. So we're gonna create a new directory here, and I'm gonna, just gonna call this directory images. And then I'm gonna create another directory here, I'm gonna call it CSS, and I'm gonna call another directory here, videos and just click the green button here and then click back so I can see my files and my directories as you can see here I've got a CSS directory like I've mentioned before another word for directory is a folder I've got an image directory and I've got videos directory now with the image directory selected I go within my image directory I can now click upload and then locate by clicking on the browse button I can locate my actual uh, images so if I click on my images here so let's select that one here and then click the green option here uh, click back uh, daily limit reached okay yeah okay you have some restrictions here as well because an FTP free FTP server uh, you might actually want to go back and upload it the next day you can upload more files I think I tried to upload uh, a very big large image there and that's why it's happened now, an alternative way to actually upload files to uh, via FTP, if you're using your local computer, is a software called FileZilla. Now, the FileZilla, again, allows you to do the same thing. Uh, so if you are on your house computer, you don't have the FTP restrictions. So you can actually put uh, your FTP, you put your username, your password now the default FTP port is 21 and let's click quick connect and click OK and as you can see I can see my folders my directories etc etc 
now I can actually go to my images folder. Uh, let's see, documents, pictures. Now let's put the logo. I can click and drag the logo, click OK. As you can see, the logo is there, but I want my logo to go within the images folder. I'm just going to put another logo here on this directory, uh, on the main directory. Uh, I can actually upload a number of images here by holding Shift key down. I can actually highlight all these images and click and drag them over. And if I change my mind, I can hold the Shift key down to highlight this and transfer them over to the images directory. It is good practice images to go within the images directory, CSS files to go within the CSS directory, videos to go within the videos directory. Now, because I don't want to keep typing all this information, I'm just going to type here want. I'm go just going to go to the images. I'm just going to change that to one as well. So I'm going to show you how we call in these images now. So let's minimize this. Now, if I go back to the website and this is my directory, this is the location of my uh, my directory. It's called Ionis Disoglu. And within the directory, I've got the index page. I also have the about us page, if you remember. So let's go back to the FileZilla. Now let's go one up. Double click on the double dot here to go back to the main directory. So we have index, about, and then we have one.png. So if I change the about.html to one.png and press enter, I will be able to see my picture. I also have this picture within the images directory. So I'm just going to type images forward slash one so I can see the picture here. So if I go now, because I'm now within the images directory, I can go back to my FileZilla. So I can't remember the actual name of this picture. Uh, I'm just going to copy this image here, the name of the image, and paste it here. So I've got the picture now. Press enter. And here is I've got these two good looking guys. Anyway, this is how you uh, upload in files onto the FTP uh, by bypassing uh, FTP security. But again, you have restrictions on the amount of files and directors you can actually create. Uh, and this is how you actually upload in a limited amount of files uh, through your own computer. Hope you've learned something new today. Thank you for watching.